Hi everyone. Today in our online class session, we are going to see continuous distributions. In the continuous distributions, we shall see rectangular distribution or uniform distribution. First, we see the definition of uniform distribution. A random variable capital X is said to follow a uniform distribution or continuous uniform distribution or rectangular distribution if its probability density function is f of x equal to k where k is a constant and the value of x should lie between certain interval here that interval is a to b see here the interval is a to b x has been defined in that interval as it is a continuous random variable and as, and as it is a continuous distribution, its value should lie between some interval. Okay, here A and B are called parameters of the distribution. A and B are called parameters of the distribution. Next, <coughs> we shall derive another form of probability density function of uniform distribution. As usual, let us assume capital X follows uniform distribution where f of x equal to by definition constant k x lies between interval a to b here you see interval a to b and except this interval f of x takes value 0 so only for this interval f of x equal to k where a and b are parameters of uniform distribution as usual now <coughs> uh, to derive another form of probability density function of uniform distribution we use the primary property the total probability value is always 1 as it is a continuous distribution how to find out total probability value here by using integration so integral in the defined interval a to b in the defined interval a to b f of x dx equal to 1 and if you substitute f of x equal to k as k a constant that can be taken outside and integrating 1 into dx integrating that integrand to 1 that leads to x and substituting lower limit and upper limit we can get k into b minus a that is equal to right hand side 1 and k value you take the term right hand side then k equal to 1 divided by b minus a therefore we can standardly define f, uh, f of x equal to 1 divided by b minus a where x lies between a and b but therefore a random variable capital X is said to follow a uniform distribution or rectangular distribution it's another form of probability density function can be defined by f of x equal to this f of x equal to 1 divided by b minus a and 0 other than this interval this is what uh, we are seeing here another definition another form of probability density function of uniform distribution and as usual Mathematical notation for uniform distribution is nothing but x tilde u of a comma b and you call this tilde symbol as you call this tilde symbol as follows. So to denote mathematically for a random variable following uniform distribution we have to note this this notation. So x wave u of a comma b. If a random variable x follows uniform distribution, it can be denoted by x wave u of a comma b. Next, <coughs> we are going to find out moment generating function of uniform distribution. As usual, let us assume that a random variable x follows uniform distribution with parameter a and b by simply noting this notation, by simply, simply giving this notation, it tells everything capital X is a random variable and it follows uniform distribution with parameters a and b okay and what is general form of general formula to find moment generating fun function of a random variable that is mx of t equal to expectation of e power tx you see here expectation of e power tx and as it is a continuous distribution we have to use the operation integral operation so integral general lower limit to general upper limit so integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power tx into f of x dx 
and simply substitute integral layer to b e power t x into f of x dx simply substitute f of x equal to 1 divided by b minus a as f of x follows here uniform distribution so we are we have to substitute f of x equal to 1 divided by b minus a here and 1 divided by b minus a is a constant that can be taken outside and integrating e power t x that is nothing but e power t x divided by how to integrate e power tx e power ax integration is e power ax divided by a so first we have to integrate this exponential function and perfectly in the inner terms in the inner terms any integrable variable is there we have to differentiate that uh, inner term and put the result in denominator this is the procedure to integrate any function okay so integral of e power uh, tx in e, e power tx is nothing but e power tx divided by t and limiting case as usual a to b and substituting limiting case a and b here then we can get uh, 1 divided uh, 1 divided by b minus a as t is independent from a and b so t can be taken outside we shall substitute limiting case only for the random variable only for the random variable you see here only for the random variable so e power bt minus e power at therefore moment generating function of uniform distribution can be defined as can be defined as n mx of t equal to e power bt minus e power at divided by this denominator b minus a into t and next <coughs> we are going to find the mean and variance of uniform distribution so first to find the mean and variance of uniform distribution we have to use non central moments so, mu r dash so mu r dash if you substitute r equal to 1 then mu r dash becomes mu 1 dash that mu 1 dash is nothing but mean mu that mean mu is the expectation of x and if it is discrete random variable sigma x into p of x where p of x is probability mass function if it is continuous random variable integral f of x into dx integral x in uh, x power r into f of x dx <coughs> So, here you see mu r dash equal to expectation of x power r that is equal to general lower limit to general upper limit. So, integral minus infinity to plus infinity x power r into f of x dx. Okay. And uh, being f of x is defined uh, in uniform distribution, I mean it is PDF of uniform distribution. Uh, its limiting case I have substituted here. So, integral a to b x power r into f of x dx and uh, mu 1 dash substituting r equal to 1 then mu 1 dash equal to substituting r equal to 1 substituting r equal to 1 here then x then integral a to b x into f of x dx and the integral a to b x into substitute f of x equal to 1 divided by b minus a and taking 1 divided by b minus a constant uh, constant being it is a constant we take 1 divided by b minus a from the integration then 1 divided by b minus a integral a to b x into dx and integrating integrating this x integrating this x then x square divided by 2 and substituting the limiting case then we can get 1 divided by this 2 has been taken outside then 1 divided by 2 into b minus a and b square minus a square and by by applying simple algebraic formula formula so then we can get b plus a into b minus a divided by 2 into this denominator cancelling these two terms b plus a divided by 2 but therefore mean value for uniform distribution is mu mean mu equal to mu 1 dash equal to expectation of x all are similar terms that is equal to b plus a divided by 2 or a plus b divided by 2 both are same and next we are going to find out variance so to find the variance what is general notation of variance mu2 mu2 so mu2 equal to mu2 dash minus mu1 dash mu2 dash is second non central moment so we have to find out first mu2 dash how to find out mu2 dash put r equal to 2 in mu r dash so substituting r equal to 2 in mu r dash we can get mu2 dash equal to mu2 dash equal to here mu2 dash equal to uh, integral a to b x square because we have substituted we are we have to substitute x, r equal to 2 then x power r becomes x power 2 then x power 2 into f of x dx and as usual substituting f of x equal to 1 divided by b minus a and taking 1 divided by b minus a come uh, from, uh, outside from the integration as it is a constant and integrating this x x squared then x cube divided by 3 substituting the limiting case then we can get 1 divided by 3 into b minus a this 3 is also can be taken outside 3 also can be taken outside and uh, substituting limiting case b cube minus a cube by using algebraic expansion b cube minus a cube can be written as b minus a 
into b square plus a b plus a square divided by 3 into b minus a and next is uh, cancelling b minus a in numerator with the denominator then we can get uh, mu2 dash equal to b square plus a b plus a square divided by 3 so we have found mu2 dash and next we have to substitute this mu2 dash in variance formula this is variance formula variance mu2 equal to mu2 dash minus mu1 dash the whole square so i am going to substitute mu2 dash here this mu2 dash here and the mu1 dash is nothing but mean value what we have already found so b square plus ab plus a square divided by 3 minus this is mean value b plus a i mean mean means first and non-central moment value b plus a divided by 2 the whole square and next expanding these terms uh, b square plus ab plus a square divided by 3 and uh, squaring both numerator and denominator b square plus ab this is b plus a the whole square divided by 4 and uh, solving this algebraically by taking lcm and solving this algebra algebraically we can get this term 4b square plus 4ab plus 4a square minus 3b square minus 6ab plus uh, minus 3a squared the whole divided by 12 and uh, solving and cancelling the terms then we can get b square plus a square minus 2ab divided by 12 this can be this b square plus a square minus 2ab can be written as b minus a the whole square divided by 12 but therefore variance equal to b minus a the whole square divided by 12 this can be written as a minus b the whole square a minus b this b minus a the whole square divided by 12 can also be written as a minus b the whole square a minus b the whole square divided by 12 as this as this numerator has square function so nothing difference between this uh, between these two terms because in some other textbooks a minus b the whole square divided by 12 is also given as variance that is also correct one thank you and next class we shall see solving problems